Not the 4th of September, and we're at Changi Airport, ready to head off to uh, London. It's just on that time in the morning, and I'm going to have a look outside and see what aeroplanes are out there. Well, there's an aeroplane waiting for us. That's the big one at the back. Let's have our seven down. Jennifer's hungry. <laughs> no. But look at the oh, that's all shopping down there. And that's looking the other way, and there's all shopping down there too. And through there. So these are papers being filled out, addresses being checked. Well, we're in London. It's now Tuesday, and now we're taking a picture of the sign in the street of Daryl. This is Beaconsfield Road, and Daryl and Mandy are in a flat way down the far end. Um, we're off into town to have a bit of a bus ride around. <laughs> First thing you do when you come to London is you go and see Buckingham Palace, and that's where we are right now. And we're waiting for the changing of the guards. Quite a crowd here. And Jenny and Daryl are just in the crowd somewhere over here. Just waiting. The anxious crowd waits. Venga, 
Anda la ropa, que si fuera una cosa de gallero, tío. No, si era un chido. Porque si se llama. Ah, pero mira, no me lo sé. Hasta una poca de movimiento chido este de. Pero el que se haga de tan alto. Vale, gracias. Guau, así. Visit back in the Hello. So that's where we were. And um, over behind me is the ticket office for the tour of Buckingham Palace. This is the 1245. This is the throne room. And there are the two thrones. And who sits on those? state dining room. The blue drawing room was just magnificent. And look at the chandelier in this music room. London Pride Tour, and we're away. We climbed onto this bus at the back gates of Buckingham Palace. We're being taken through Belgravia. We're heading for the Lambs Club. Thank you for having me. 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 That's where Captain Fly, who survived the mutiny, is buried. Then it'll be years of the church, and now the museum of John. And the Palace Road is behind us now. Uh, we're and crossing over Westminster Bridge, and, and, and there's Big Ben above us. Westminster Hall is on our left. The many famous people have been held in the great Westminster Hall, including William Wallace, Charles I, and Guy Hawke, who all found guilty of treason and condemned to death. The man at the front of the hall is Oliver Cromwell, he was a victor in the English Civil War, and he was the man who had to the first executed. From one there was a line at his feet, it's the existence of the left here and annex jumping out from the side of the House of Parliament. 
There's originally two of these annexes, one either side of the stacks of Cromwell. The other annex destroyed by bombs in World War II. The building was hit 14 times we're on Whitehall Road. Whitehall Road is the home of Downing Street and Number 10 and the Royal Horse Guards. Robert Walker was the first Prime Minister to live at Number 10. He moved in in 1769. The Royal is in Germany with the Hatton Helmet. And these horses are guarding the Sicilian Bridge into the Whitehall Road. Carrying on down Whitehall Road, we see Nelson's column and Trafalgar Square headlights. The was inserted, the stone masonry built the column, and lunched up there, 170 feet above London. You can see that four lines, and the front of Trafalgar Square, one cathedral, and the tower of London. Well, I did the superiority of nature, over all these annexes of kind. A temporary statue, must be definitely three months, I'll be removed at the end of the autumn. Part of a series of temporary statues, being placed National Gallery is on our left and we are now heading up the Strand, first to Charing Cross and Fleet Street to St Paul's Southwark Bridge, travelled up Southwark Street, drove across Blackfriars Bridge, and we're now going along the Victoria and back to clear back as needed. We're going to get off there and we're going to meet Mandy for some sightseeing and a bit of tea.
gallery, which shows modern art exhibitions. The twisted column of neon bulbs on its roof changes colors to show the direction and speed of the wind. It's best seen at night. It's the second largest cathedral building in the world and is around 121 meters high, 365 feet, one foot for every day of the year. The golden ball on top is big enough for a man to stand. Prince Charles and Lady Diane Spencer were married in St. Paul's in 1981. The In 1982, the body of the Virgin Carol, the attacking bank of the battle, was left by the great fire of London in 1666. The white wooden building beyond is the late American actor Sam Wynick's authentic copy, William Shakespeare's open air globe theatre. Look out for the tower of some cathedral behind the buildings on the right. The cathedral has a chapel dedicated to John Harvard, founder of the American University in Boston, who was baptized. Until the 18th century, London Bridge was the only bridge the city had. All those others we passed didn't exist.
Just go and walk out there. Go on. You can do it. Good game. There you go. Yeah, go on. Where's the birds? <laughs> <laughs> We're just waiting for a uh, bus to come and we'll carry on with our tour from yesterday. We're back on the bus. All right away. So you see we're back with the pigeons. I guess this area is called Whitehall. Just a wee pub on the corner. That's the cenotaph, the War Memorial. It's the name of the 40 ton bell inside the clock. Named after Benjamin Hall, the Chief Commissioner of Works at the time of the bell's installation in the mid 1800s. This is Westminster Bridge. On the other side of the river is the Ferris Wheel known as the London Eye. It takes 35 minutes to complete the full circuit. Isn't that line made out of something that they can't make anymore? Yeah. See, there's tour buses everywhere. This is Hyde Park Corner. That's Rotten Row down there. First street to be lit in England. The achievement of the British Empire was visited by an estimated 6 million people, including an 84 year old woman. To the left is Harvey Nichols' department store, also founded in the mid 1800s by the linen merchant Benjamin Harvey. Well, there's the time. We walked down here last night to the Chelsea Kitchen where we were to see the Mary Albert Memorial. Around the base of the memorial is a marble frieze with 169 life-size statues representing various painters, architects, poets and sculptors. Theatre land. We arrived here in the late 1700s in the Starring Ross Rose, Ross Rose, We are approaching some giant circles. We had a bit of a break on the other bus, it was raining, so we climbed onto another one. 
and we're heading for the British Museum. Well, we're at the British Museum. A bit of roadworks now and going on either side of it, but we're here. There's a whole hall full of money. So I know they don't look like money. Here's one. And another one. The statue of Jenny standing underneath is the upper half of the uh, statue of Ramesses too. These are all hieroglyphics and things. Freezes of sides of buildings and things. Here's Don sitting at the Tower of London. We've just got obviously underground at Tower Hill, and this is where we're heading through under the underpass in a few minutes. So we're heading to those gates over there. So we check through the tower. Gotta have a guidebook of course. come out of the church and uh, this is where all the private executions occurred. Let's just go for a bit of a walk. Then he walks back again. So that's where we go and see the crown jewel. Is Jenny buying a royal ice cream? It's a big cannon. That's a Flemish bronze gun. And they had those around about 1687. These are a couple of the seven odd ravens that they've got to keep out here. Because if the ravens disappear, then, the, then England will fall and the tower will crumble. Yeah, these ravens are sitting on part of the Roman city wall. So it's pretty old. In fact, it was around in the 12th century. So we're off to have a look on the white tower. 